Apple have purchased Pixamate Pro developer and this is now the program owned by Apple itself. So the bad news is it will never ever be released on Windows or Android if you plan to use it on mobile devices. It will be exclusive to Mac systems and iPad. So that's a bad news. What's the good one? It's pretty solid raster editing software. Recently they add also some vector tools to it. They got some smart tools that can remove backdrops or select stuff quickly for us. So it's a decent alternative to Adobe Photoshop and also to Affinity Photo, I would say. By this purchase, Adobe may feel threatened because now they don't need to like promote that you can run Adobe Photoshop on Mac. Now they can show their own software, right? Where they can focus on that. And if they invest in this and match this with this brand new Apple Intelligent umbrella, it's going to be uh, really something. So it's a bit a bittersweet thing because we got a uh, support for a big competitor for Adobe Photoshop. But from the other hand, it will be locked only for Mac for sure because it's owned by Apple right now. This is a very fresh news, so we still need to observe what will be released in version 4. Right now we're running on version 3.6. As you can see here, this is version 3.6. They put a really nice additions in the recent update. They add uh, like vector masks, and they got some proper vector tools and all of that stuff. So this software is better and better with each update and actually doing few things better than Affinity Photo and few things not as good as Affinity Photo. So if you want to learn the difference between Pixelmator Pro that was recently purchased by Apple and our favorite Affinity Photo, I already made this video a few weeks ago so you can watch that just after this one. Thank you for today. It was a rather short video, just an update what's going on with this great Adobe alternative software. As I mentioned, probably locked in Apple ecosystem forever now. Thank you for today. See you in the next video.